Hello, and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Beriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor, and today we'll continue helping the people of Morlad in the Blackroot Vale. So before we leave town, let us actually look for Velagan and the Lady Rosfin uh, on the upper side of town. Let us see what else they can tell us about all this. These are troublesome times indeed. Ah, you must be the traveler that arrived today. It is true that the Vale faces many problems in recent days, some much more tangible than others. Word from the south speaks of something stirring the beasts of the Vale, but little else is known. I am unsure if he knows of your arrival, if he knows of your arrival, but I am certain Landiach would be pleased to speak with you on these matters as well. If you have a moment, I have a more personal request of you. These are troublesome times indeed. With all this talk of orcs, maddened beasts, and sightings of the dead near the hill, I have seen the morale of our people degrade day by day. We have brushed off the dead as mere ghost stories in the eyes of the people, but sadly it is true. As a result, I fear that our people will soon grow wary of that of what may be a long conflict in Gondor. If you would, I am certain tales of your might, your adventures, or even a polite greeting could reassure them that not all is lost. Yeah, Gondor's might is still strong. I would know I have all the line for many years. These are troublesome times indeed. Greetings and well met, traveler. I did not expect any to visit during such times, much less enter the Vale through the dark paths. I am Landiach, ward of Lord Duin here and protector of Lady Rosfin. As you have heard, troubles loom to the south and east and we are too few to move against them. Acting on one would leave us defenseless against the other. If you would lend us your might, perhaps we can begin to push back our foes after all. Please tell Maltalam I would have you fight on our behalf. These are troublesome times indeed. Hello, traveler. Forgive me if I seem distracted, but my people are my sole cause as of late. My husband has written to Minas Tirith as half my sons, so steward or not, I shall see my people, my people through these times. Am I right in suspecting that Maltalam sent you? After all, he has already sent most of my people to me for the same reason. I shall not forgive him for abandoning Tingleville to strengthen Morlad's defenses. It wasn't wise, costly, and resulted in many deaths. He is welcome to pour over my husband's notes, but that is where my age shall end. Um, where are those notes? In Lord Dwayne here's home? Yeah. But now, as you see, we need to talk to Rodaglar. Where is Rodaglar? Altalam, no. What is. Ah, Rodaglar, there he is. Story. Yeah, let us tell a story to Rodaglar. One as a story tells yourself is certain to be a boon to our people. Here we. I saw him actually around the corner over here. Around here ish. Is that right? I'm pretty sure I saw him over here. Here we. Yeah. Oh. Don't you hide me? Uh, a polite bow. Yeah, let us do that. Who are you to bow to me? I am honored by your presence in the veil. 
Lorwen. Where is Lorwen? I do not remember seeing her around. It's got to be somewhere around here. Um, nope. Goats. Lorwen, there she is. I can resist here now, knowing you fight for us. I have always fought for all the people of Gondor, but... Well, if it makes you feel any better, yeah. Talk to Belagant. Okay, sorry, no, Belagant is actually up top. Troublesome times indeed. Thank you, Briathan. I know it may not seem a large gesture to you, but I am certain that it will help our people remain hopeful. I'm, I'm hoping that will be a help to them. They are my people as well, after all, right? Fight for all of Gondor. These are troublesome times indeed. She only offered this? I know she blames me for what happened to Tingovel, and rightfully so, but I need her aid if we are to keep the veil from any more harm. Let me think. If I can convince her to come down here, perhaps she shall see the importance of her counsel. These are troublesome times indeed. I am thankful the others had time to spare to speak with you, and I am sure you can aid them all. Landia, he is a trusted advisor of Lord Duin here, and a friend to my family. If he believes you can aid us, I do not doubt him. It is true that I have made mistakes since taking stewardship of Blackbird Vale, but to appear weak or unwise would do undo everything Duin here hoped for me to embody in his stead. So what is your plan? Gondor needs your aid. No. It is not Lord doing here's insight I require. Only Rosmin knows enough of this lands to aid me now. Maltalam lets out a long sigh. These notes will no sooner help me lead my people than a blade of grass can fell an orc. I made the terrible mistake of sacrificing Tingovel for the safety of Morlad, but too many fell, and I saved too few. The guilt weights on me far heavier than any could understand. Lady Raswin must see reason, and if not to help me, she must help her people. I beg this of her. Now, you, you didn't tell me where to get these notes, but yeah. I assume there will be here at your home. So we're back to Lady Raswin. Gotta say, this town is not as big as it seems. At first, it might seem a little bit confusing, but once you know your way around, it's really easy to traverse. Um, let us see now what Lady Rasfin requires from us. <laughs> I lost my way again. You see, don't don't pay attention to half the things I say. God. No, by now everything I said, I say, turns against me at, at some point. It seems, but okay, here we are, Lady Lady Rosin. These are troublesome times indeed. Back so soon? Were you even able to show him the notes before he turned you back around? You tell Lady Rosin of Malthalam's impassioned plea. Very well, I shall serve as his counsel. Malthalam is determined. I will grant him that. I do not have time to continue swatting away his attempts to sway me, and perhaps by working with him I can prevent another tragedy like Tingoval from occurring. 
I will meet you at his home, and I hope I do not regret this. Well, we are all on the same boat. So, I I'm sure we will all be satisfied with your decision and uh, working together. How did you come here so fast, though? It's something that I still cannot explain to myself. How may I help you, friend? Hail, Baryathan. Lady Rosvin has already come to speak to me. I cannot thank you enough for convincing her to aid me in protecting the Vale. Her insight will no doubt help us to push the orcs and our other troubles from these lands. Rosvin informed me that she would like to speak to you further before we take action, but please keep me informed. Gondor needs your aid. Do not mistake my apprehension for hatred, Bergathan. Maltalam has long been a friend to my family and there is no wiser counsel in the Vale. However, I am not fond of his leadership since becoming steward, but I will aid him as best I can so my husband and sons shall have a home to return to once this war is over. Uh, what about the stats in here? Agility, Vitality, Fate, Physical Mastery? Might be, might be. Let me see how this dies too. I'm not a big fan of the looks of it, but let us take it. How may I help you, friend? After speaking with Rosfin, I have decided that our first course of action must be to protect the villages that still stand to the south. I do not know how far the orcs have ventured into the Vale, but I can only hope that our archers have deterred them from straying too far beyond Thingoville. To the south lie the villages of Alagrant and Sardal, small settlements full of fishermen and hunters. They must stop their hunt for a time if they are to remain safe. I would ask that you travel both and warn them to both and warn them of danger. Meanwhile, Rosvin and I shall form a plan to deal with the orcs. Yeah, I wouldn't know about the archers, they need more arrows, so. Okay. We have all the quests. Here on our log. Oh. There are a lot of arrows in here. Don't need to go that far. Okay. I think we can go back and return these arrows before we continue south. Please. Oh, thank it. You did. Beast Slayer of West Gondor. What do we have here? 100 beasts that we need to defeat. Okay. What news do you bring, Traveler? Ah, uh, this shall do nicely. You have my thanks, Periathan. I told you we wouldn't hit you. <laughs> well, that you are right. Okay, so that seems to be it. Now we just need to go to the south, to the other town. I'm gonna grab this guy. And this guy. And this guy too. Come over. Ah, there we go. I don't think we need to defeat Bale Hearts. Oh, yeah! And do they count for the beat? Yeah, they do. Okay. But of course, that's why I don't like fighting those guys that much. 
Madden Bale Bear. Ah! Are you too? That's what you deserve. Okay, it seems we have reached Alagrand. Wasn't that far, really. Expected this to be a little bit farther. Well, here we are. No, oh, there is another bearing here. Let us. Let us see, we can fight this bear alongside this hind. And there was a maddened. Well, I saw a maddened heart. But it seems he went away. Now we can return to Morlat to uh, advance through the epic, but let us check first what is going on in Alagran. There we go. Oh! A lot of things to do here. Cool. Gondor needs your aid. Welcome to Alagrand Traveler. What is this now? We are but a small village of hunters, friend. If Maltalam's concern is that the beasts have grown wild, I do not believe such a thing will trouble us. However, there is another matter which may... Gondor needs your aid. Maltalam orders us to stay in our villages because of the orcs and wild animals? <laughs> well, to me, there is no difference. Do you hear this, Dirion? The steward cannot be serious. You see, Bariathan, we are hunters by trade. It does not serve us well to flee from the wildlife of the Vale. Sarnir and all his talk of ghosts almost seems unbelievable. Seems believable now. Well now, if we're stuck here, you might as well go get to know us, traveler. It'll certainly provide us something to do. What is the meaning of this? I am quite capable of looking after myself, despite what the steward might think. I shall remain in town, but do not expect me to do so quietly. If Maltalam were here in your place, I would not be so polite. Why do you interrupt me? So am I to faint terror simply because you bring Maltalam's word to us? There is no need for, for us to travel north, much less remain confined to Alagrand. We are hardy folk and familiar with the dangers of these lands. I wish to continue my daily hunting, but if that is not to be the case, I expect something from you in return. Could one as mighty as you stoop to baiting my traps outside town? Given how dangerous the veil is said to be now, surely you must be the only one among us up to the task. I don't like your attitude. Good sir, so... Talk to you later. These are troublesome times indeed. The others look at me as if I have lost my mind, but I know the truth. I have seen ghastly figures wandering the hilltop at night, but I dare not approach them. If the dead truly have returned to the Vale, I fear for our safety and know not what ills might come of their presence here. You are a wise man, Sarnir. The only one, it seems. Bariathan, I worry greatly for the Vale. I know not what drives the beasts to such violence, but as of late their behavior has only grown more cruel. Beasts seem to slay each other not for subsistence, but for the sheer violence they can wreak on the valley floor. Even after spending my life as a hunter, it is horrifying to behold. The beasts have taken to displaying their kills along the road to east. Perhaps if you can get a better look at one of the fallen, we can gain some insight into what is driving them to such madness. Alright. I have a lot of things to do, as you see. And before we leave Alagrand, though, uh, you might have seen we have two bounties in here. The 
post that not ad advertises a bounty on a mountain lion of Blackbird Vale known as Tarlang Fang, described as a mountain lion of considerable size and power, who has a penchant for playing with his meals, and invites all interested hunters to seek out Kalanen in Alagrant for more information on the beast's whereabouts. The post that not advertises a bounty on a particularly elusive white stack, described as a powerful and brilliantly white stack whose speed isn't matched by any in the veil, and invites all interested hunters to seek out Dirion in Alagrand for more information on the stack's last known whereabouts. Alright. What can you tell me about the stack, you cocky man? I beg your pardon? So, you seek to capture the white stack. A noble goal to be certain, but one that countless others have failed to achieve. You see, nature has not brought forth such a wondrous symbol of Gondor since the White Tree, and I can think of no better symbol to hearten the people of the Vale. I would never ask you to harm such a beautiful beast, but perhaps you can capture it for the people of Morlad. I have heard such varying accounts of its whereabouts, but it was last seen far to the east and beyond the stone. Good fortune and swift strides, Verathan, you shall need both. How may I help you, friend? Ah, Verathon, I must admit I did not expect to hear from you on this task. The others have been after Tarlang's Fang for some time now, and all they have returned with are injuries. He is very elusive, for it despite his old age, let me assure you. He was last spotted in the mountainous hills to the south of the Hill of Edic, but I doubt he has remained there. Good luck to you, traveler. Ah, so it seems. Well, it seems we can wait a little longer before going after those bounties, but there is still so many things to do here. Uh, there was another trap, yeah, here. And over there, too. And along the shore, of course. This, this soundtrack already told you that I think so I'm glad we got the chance of hearing it a little bit more in Gondor very peaceful very fitting for this place as well any more traps around here Here is one. Only missing one more. Mountain lions of Blackroot Bale have grown more aggressive than usual and have begun to lurk near the villages of Alagrand and Sardul. If the people of these two villages are to remain safe, the mountain lions must be slain. Let us do that. So, one and two at least. Let me see if I can find another one. No. Okay. Well, we can go back to Dirion about the traps we baited. I expect a different attitude from you. What Just for the record. Of this? Ah, you're back so soon. It was that trying a task? You must tell me more of your adventures in placing bait on traps. Actually, no. I would rather you did not. Here, take this. Assuming the bait works, I can't spare these coins. 
What do you mean, assuming it works? Who do you take me for, huh? I faded. So many traps on my journey here. I can assure you, you will not have any shortage of prey. So if you could actually pay me a little bit more, wouldn't mind. Um, now the evidence of mold animal is around here. Bale heart? No. Drop of fine clover honey? No. A beer? No. Ah. You have come across a freshly slain bear riddled with enormous bites and gashes. Sensing their prey is being stolen, mad and bears rush forth. So you mean to tell me that the bears are killing each other? That doesn't sound normal. And it seems there are more corpse of bears over there, but let us go back to Sarnir. Let's see if he would have another quest for us. Um, or if that's it. And now we make to Sardol. I don't know. Last time I did the landscape content of West Gondor was when it released in 2014, so... God, a long time ago. How may I help you, friend? The bears are devouring their own Beryathan? What could drive them to do that? I only have one thought as to what, but I do not wish it to be true. And that is... Uh, yeah, let us take this one. Gondor needs your aid. The bears have been stricken with madness, and though I do not wish it to be true, I fear the dead are responsible. I have never seen such behavior from beasts in all of my years in the Vale. The return of the dead must have upset nature and compelled them to harm their own. I would ask that you again travel out onto the field beyond the bears you discovered and search the remains of more of this fallen beast. Yeah, you could have told me that before. I was just there. Uh, here, agility, vitality. Um, no, I don't think that's worth it. I'm gonna keep the gloves that I have. This one, though, seems a little bit better. No, not even this one. No, I'm gonna keep the things I have. Jeez, had I known. I might have um, taken the heavy armor. That looked nice. And maybe I can create another outfit for that. But I think I already have all the outfits I want. In fact, I, I need to double check and make sure they are set up properly. You discover a few animal corpses, but they bear that mar the marks of a struggle. Search further east. Alrighty. Uh, where exactly? I don't see. Any more signs of struggle around here? Ah, okay. See that now. Here we have another mountain lion.
Amidst a few slain creatures, you discover some that bear no wounds. Okay, the mystery deepens. Seemingly slain by fear alone, fallen creatures bearing no wounds litter the ground. And the dead have also attacked. You did Oathbreaker Slayer of West Gondor. Why are we getting this just now when we have already defeated some of Oathbreakers at the Paths of the Dead? That's what I was telling you about. Another hundred Oathbreakers for that deed. Uh, let us ride. Once again, role playing these two steeds to be the same, so. Could use the extra speed right now. They bore no wounds, and the dead appeared. I cannot think of any other cause but the fear of the dead that brought these beasts to their end. What will become of our people if the dead remain in the veil? Will fear claim us as well? I worry greatly for us all, Briathan, and soon, Mazlan must be told of this. How may I help you, friend? Dirion would not have me tell you this, for he is a prideful man, but I must. Dirion's hunting dog was not here when he awoke this morn. And I fear some ill fate has befallen it. Dirion does not have family in the Vale, so his dog is the only true companion he has. I cannot help but wonder if it has gone east towards the hill, though I hope it untrue. I pray you can bring his dog home, Beriathan. Alright, it seems we had unlocked this quest before. And we could have technically found that dog now that we were just at the hill, but I uh, didn't see this quest. My bad. What a shame. That was right there. Well, now you kind of get why Darian is such a grumpy man if he has only his dog. Sounds like one of those people that knows how to treat animals better than how to treat people. I mean, nothing against that, but... They also grow very attached to their animals, so if something happened to this dog... You have found Dirion's dog wandering the fields of Blackroot Vale alone. The earth has chilled since your arrival and the dog looks visibly distressed, gnashing his teeth and growling. Before you can even begin to discover what has disturbed him, the dead rush forth. The dead and some bears too. You are not touching this dog on my watch. Speaking of dogs... Ah yeah, there you are, Galif. Didn't see you for a moment. More dead come. A lot more. You have defended Durian's dog, who now seems anxious to return home. Alright, how long do, does this dog need to walk before we get credit for it? Yeah, there we go. Now let us talk to, to Dirion.
back in town. You see, we really were not that far. And I hope at long last you change your attitude towards us. If only out of thanks. Why do you interrupt me? The dead try to take him from me? I am sorry for how I treated you earlier, my friend. It gladdens me that my companion can join me on many more hunts, but I hope to keep him from wandering off again. You have my truest thanks, Briothan. Yeah. Glad we can finally see eye to eye. These are troublesome times indeed. I am thankful that Dirion's dog is safe, but these tidings trouble me greatly. Your aid has been invaluable, Briathan, but I fear you have done all you can for us here. Uh, what do we have here? Agility, vitality, maximum morale, critical defense. No, I don't think I'm gonna These are use this. Sometimes indeed. This unsettles me greatly, Briathan. The dead have never ventured so far from the hill before, and I fear this is only the beginning of our travels with them. I do not know what that cursed lot hoped to accomplish, but I doubt it a boon to our people. If you are passing through to Sardal, as you said, please speak to my sister Melian of the dead. I can only hope they have not wandered so far away from their paths, or I fear something far worse than orcs will befall the Vale. Alright. Now we go to... to Sardal. Cool. So, let us cross the river. And let us see if we can find any more uh, mountain lions on our way to Sardal so that we can also complete this quest that we got about those lions. No luck so far. Let us cross our fingers. Blackroot Mountain Lion, yeah, knew it. Let us grab this one. There's another one through here. Old Frog. There is a, also a warband that we might be able to find. You have defeated many mountain lions in Blackwood Vale. Although you did not discover evidence of any fell force driving them deep into the Vale, their ferocity could have easily posed a serious threat to the people of Alagrand and Sardal. Let us see if we can fight this warband. From what I remember, the warbands uh, from Gondor onwards were not designed with mounted combat in mind, so that might give us an edge against some of the harder ones. Maybe we can also find Tarlax's Fang around here somewhere. Old Brock. You have encountered the fearsome Latbear Old Brock, stalking the Vale with his warband. Drawn to Black Root Vale by the dead, he must be put down before causing harm to any of the Gondorians in the nearby settlements. Yeah, if you would only let me climb this hill so that I can fight him. Uh, 
there is another one in here. Kema. But that is a full fellowship warband from what I remember. Uh wouldn't want to try my luck at that just yet. Especially because our path now takes us to the southwest. And I didn't expect this detour to be so big. That's a matter of fact. Arlang's Fang, okay. Well. Didn't expect him to find him here. But now that we have, let us fight him, why not? A like critical rating? Yeah, this guy is really strong. But he was no serious threat for us. Oh yeah. Now, old rock, if you would come inside, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. There he is. Has to be right. Oh, I don't want to fight you while I fight the lab bears, so if you would leave me alone. Slack. No. Finally. Thank you. You have slain old rock and vanquished a threat to the safety of all that dwell within Black Road Vale. And you did. Warbands of Western Gondor. See, I told you there was a date for the Warbands. Not on all areas, it seems. Starting on West Gondor, which is great, as it helps you keep track of which ones you have defeated and which ones you are still missing. So, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not a big... Well, I wasn't a big fan of, of this update back in the day. I, I don't know why. It was missing a certain something for me, but it added a lot of quality of life improvements and uh, nice features that have become, since, staple of the game. First of all, the treasure caches that were added on this update. There are like 12 different treasure caches that we can find through West Gondor, and it has been, it, it has become, once again, uh, a trademark of the later areas. Um, this did for Warbands is really cool. It was our first in sight of Gondor. But yeah, I I mean, I, I was missing a certain something from this update last time I played it. Let us see how we fare this time. Here we are in Sardol. These are troublesome times indeed. Malthalam asks us to sequester ourselves and seize our hunts. I fear it shall not be difficult to abide his rule, for you see, the majority of our hunters have gone missing in the past few days. I have heard nothing of the dead traveler, and I hope it stays that way. We have enough problems in Sardal as it stands. How may I help you, friend? We are in bind, Vergathan. The last of our hunters to go missing left last night, and he has not returned. He spoke of venturing into the hills to the east where the spiders dwell, but they have grown strangely aggressive as of late. Most of our remaining hunters are now too fearful to journey out of Sardal, and those that would are bound by Malthalam's edict. Since you can move freely through the Vale, I would ask that you search for him in the hills to the east. Be wary of the spiders lurking there. Oh, you have another quest. Gondor needs your aid. Before you go, I have something else to ask of you. Spiders have long lived under Tarlang's peaks, 
but we have never seen them in such force until very recently. I am hesitant to suggest this, but if the dead have returned to the Vale, I cannot help but think they may be involved somehow. You are the mightiest among us, Veryathan, and I would ask that you search Lingroth for anything that could be agitating the spiders. Please. I wish to be wrong, but I cannot quiet this thought until I know the truth. Alright. And... Uh, another one here. Okay. The soldiers of Gondor have all gone to war, and we are left to fend for ourselves. Marathon, do you have a moment? I know Amazon has told you of the spiders lurking nearby, but they do not simply lurk as of late. In the nights, they skitter about town, and despite slaying many of their number the past few days, they have escaped with some of our people. I would ask that you search their cave and try to bring our people back. It is a sorry way to die. Alright. I hope... <laughs> Let us do our best to, to finish this. Uh, on, on today's episode. We have about 40 minutes. We should be fine. I gotta say though, I would have expected for us to find some pressure caches by now. But the treasure caches in West, East and Central Gondor are some of the hardest. Fine. Well, here is one. That's great. Gondorian Treasure Cache, Lesser Club, Erlinga's Karn. Ah! This box that we got from the Warband. Some marks and some unbrought uh, silver pieces. That's okay. This club, eh? Maybe if you were playing as a hobbit, so that you can get the racial bonus, but even then. Uh, I mean, the only good use for this club is if you are dual wielding. So I'm not sure what's the deal with this. 18 caches! Oh god, I didn't remember there being so many. It kinda makes sense. That means uh, 6 treasure caches on every area of a West Gondor, but still, it seems like a lot. And once again, they were relatively hard to find. A lot of people loved them when they were first introduced as it encouraged exploration once more. And I do enjoy the idea. And I am able to find a lot of them on my own, but not all of them. I, I truly don't understand how people can find all of them without help. But well. Slain Hunter, you have found a slain man outside the spider cave. The hunter's flesh is marked with numerous raised bites, and it appears he tried to flee before succumbing to the spider's poisons. As you examine the slain man's body, you hear skittering in the brush. Oh, level 96, great. Bound for ruin? You have discovered the spiders of Lingroth to be as violent as suggested by the people of Sardal. You should call their neighbor and slay their root mother to aid in the defense of the Gondorians of Sardal. Yeah, we'll do that. So, coins, Atlas essences. But we don't have any other use for the other items in there. Another corpse. Okay. Makes sense. A lot of people died in here. Once again, not a lot of use for us. Cocoon. Okay. No soldier in here. Isn't there a uh, spider slayer of West Gondor? Kind of weird, but I'm grateful for it. Okay, one Gondorian freed. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's a contrast with. With the Slayer Deeds of the Western Net, there was basically a Slayer Deed for everything you could find in the Western Net. So that makes maxing that out hard and tedious. I'm glad to see that's not the case for the enemies in West Gondor. Already found Gurnathron. And uh, let me let me move out of the way before these guys spawn, so that we can uh, check the quest we just completed. Really, just one parchment? You have defeated many of the spiders of Lingroth, while there are surely more beneath Tharlang's peaks. They should no longer be able to harass the people of Sardal so freely. Well, as you have seen, uh, right now there is a VIP event going on, giving you a bonus to XP. So we are leveling a little bit faster than we would have. A crit chill seems to be emanating from this path. Okay. Um, so normally we wouldn't be level 96 just yet. But I'm gonna take it. Uh, I have told you before. I don't plan to especially uh, rush through some areas. A power level or anything. A grim altar reminiscent of the path of the dead stands before you. Yeah, I can see that. Um, but but this area, Western Gorndor, I think is the, the only one I would consider uh, leveling as fast as I could. Just, if anything, just to be able to uh, reach level 100 and imbue my legendary item while I can. So oh, yeah, enjoying this <laughs> leveling. As you examine the bones, a ghastly Oathbreaker rises forth to attack. Flee while you can, for a powerful new ally has rallied to our side, man. And when the darkness consumes us all, we shall be free from this curse at last. That doesn't sound good. You have slain the Oathbreaker, but must bring these ill tidings to Amazon. Yeah, of course we have to. Alright, so yeah, Lingroth was relatively small place. We can even uh, avoid these spiders on our way out. See, told you we would have enough time for this. And uh, we need to come back to Sardal now. Uh, yeah, let us try to slide down the mountain. Uh, save some time. So, first of all, uh, let us reforge. Well no. met. Ah, uh, yeah. I greet you, friend. Let us reforge this. Okay. These are troublesome times indeed. The dead have never left the hill before. This does not bode well for the Vale, nor does it bode well for Gondor. If the dead have somehow managed to pledge themselves to his this powerful ally, the regression is likely being guided. They must know that such an agreement is folly, though. The curse can only be broken by one. I must think of what is to be done, but Mothala must be told of this, and soon.
Have you heard the rumors of enemies pressing in from all sides? I saw them all return to the village, Verathon. They are shaken, but in time they shall recover. I am just thankful you were able to free them before the spiders could harm them any further. Our lands were once peaceful, but it is now dangerous to travel far from home. Hello, Briathan, is it not? I know you have been told of our missing hunters, but have you heard of what plagues the Blackroot? I believe it to be re related to what you spoke of in Alagrand, but I cannot be sure. You see, goats and deer have been washing up in the river and I fear that soon they will pollute the water for those of us that live down the river. I beg of you, please clear the remains from the river so that our water may remain safe to drink. Oh Christ, uh... And another quest, alright. Yeah, now I know I wouldn't be able to do this on the time we have left. I know you are duly familiar with the strange goings on in the Vale Breathan. However, something troubling has been happening around Sardal. I do not know if the others have noticed as I have, but some of our goods have disappeared. Perhaps they missed it in the wake of our troubles with the spiders, but these were taken, not destroyed. You see, I found one of our bottles washed up the shore of the Blackroot this morning. I believe someone seeks to send them south into Tarlang's crown, but I do not know why. Would you aid me in recovering them? And another one? Gondor needs your aid. If someone has been stealing away our goods, they must have come from the south. I have heard news of corsairs landing near the Lamroth, but none of us have seen any in the Vale. If they have truly come this far north, we shall have more to worry about than orcs and the dead. They must have traveled the river sedge to send the barrels downstream, so if you find any sign of their passing, it may aid us in riding them out. Alright, we're not gonna do that, but let us grab these fishing nets uh, for this other quest. While aiding the people of Sardal, you have come across fishing nets in the river Blackroot. Because Malfalam has urged the people to remain in their villages and their hunters have largely gone missing, it is likely that their food supply will begin to dwindle the longer the conflict continues in Gondor. You should gather fish to add to their supply in Sardal. Yeah? Let us grab all these near the waterfall. And uh, we'll go back to the dock and uh, finish today's episode. Sadly, we were not able to finish everything in Sardal. I had hoped that would be the case. But it doesn't seem to be that way. Alright, we're gonna leave it in here, uh, join me next time and we'll continue helping the people of Sardal tracking all these goods. For the time being, this has been all on today's episode of Citadel Guard Adventures, so once again, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, my friends, stay safe, take care, good luck to you all, and I will see you later.